Well, one of my, actually my most influential teacher was Mrs. Bartnick. She was the first person ever to call me a poet or even suggest that I was one. She ran the first creative writing class, I think, in that area of New Jersey. This is back in 19, 1974. So it's a long time ago, and it was not normal to have creative writing classes. And I wrote a couple of poems, and she called me into her office, and she said, you know, this is truly poetry. And she hand me a handed me a book of poems, The Voice That Is Great Within Us, which had, was an anthology of all contemporary poets. A couple of years later, both my parents had died, and I was periodically homeless, couch surfing, and I ran into Mrs. Bartnick. I went back to visit her again. And she says, well, you're a poet. You're going to survive this. It's going to help out your writing. And uh, when I had my first job for the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation, going in as a poet in residence, they didn't know it, but they sent me into my old high school, St. Mary's of the Assumption. Um, and Mrs. Bartnick was 94 years old by then. And she drove to, to the school to see me read and to come to the school. So I owe a lot of things to her. Most especially I owe to her the initial confidence, an inner city kid hearing from this teacher that I could be a poet. Since there were no role models from my kind of experience, there was Wordsworth and Coleridge and you know Shakespeare but, and Emily Bronte and Emily Dickinson, but there were no factory workers kids that I saw being called the poet. So that was a really exciting moment for me in my life. And I think that's what a great teacher does. They give you permission. They point out a direction for you. And then they help you along the way.